Hey, this is Ace here with Hillbilly How To's. Today I'm going to show you how to catch fish on a pier. The best rig to use is a sabiki rig. Um, it's just basically a line with a a few hooks, anywhere from like four to about seven hooks. Um, they are small hooks, you can buy different sizes. Um, just put the either squid strips there or shrimp um, on the hooks. Here's a, an example of a sabiki rig package. Um, at my local Walmart, I cannot buy these. Um, I have I have to buy my sabiki rigs off the internet or Bass Pro Shop. Once you hook the sabiki rig to your line, then you'll need to put a sinker at the bottom of the line. Um, I would recommend a pyramid sinker. Uh, the weight depends on how uh, much the current is flowing. Um, normal is probably about two to three ounce weight there in the waves. You can buy a lot of different um, size hooks in the Speaky, so uh, if you go up in sizes of hooks, the uh, bigger the Speaky, the bigger fish you'll catch. Um, you can uh, put it on line and, and bounce it up and down. That's the, the normal way to do that. So you just drop the sabiki rig in there with the pyramid sinker or whatever sinker you choose there on the end of the line. Um, I'm just flipping my bell there and dropping it all the way to the bottom. Um, once you feel it hit bottom, and click your bell back and you can feel the, the sinker um, on the bottom and you want to just raise it up and down just slightly just up and down let it hit the bottom and pull it off the bottom and just move up and down um, if you don't get a hit um, within I say two to three minutes uh, just move to a different spot and just keep moving spots until you start getting fish to, to hit consistently um, this works pretty quickly usually um, you can feel the the fish biting um, once you get one hit, if you'll wait just a few seconds, usually another one or two fish will hit um, and you'll catch more fish um, than just one at a time. Um, here today, I'm actually, I've stuck it into a rod holder. Um, we got the wind blowing kind of diagonal with the shore. So I've stuck it on the side where the wind will blow my line out uh, away from the pier so it's not getting stuck on the barnacles. If you put it on the other side, it'll go under the pier and get hung up on you. Um, so if you put it on uh, that other side, um, the waves will help also keep it out. And uh, you can put it in a rod holder and just let the, the wind and the tide drag your, your hooks with your bait on there. Um, you can do shrimp like I was showing you there, um, or strips of squid. Uh, the strips of squid stays on the hook a lot better. Um, you can cut it in squares, just in little pieces, slide it on the hook. Um, those hardly won't even come off the hook. Um, I don't think they work as good as the uh, shrimp does. Um, fresh shrimp stays on the hook better than the frozen shrimp. You can use either. Um, I do feel like shrimp does work the best, probably out of the baits. Uh, with a speaky, it's actually got a little fly um, on the hook, so you don't actually even have to have any bait um, on the hook. Um, but it is highly recommended, it would help. This 
is a croaker. When you put your fingers on him, he will usually croak for you. Body, um, some manhaven, pin fish. Fish, which a lot of people think those are baby sharks, which they are part of the shark family. Um, they're probably about 18 inches, kind of normal, 12 to 18 inches. Um, catch a lot of those. Um, that's for uh, small, small fishing. It's great for fishing like with kids because you are going to catch a lot of fish um, it's easy it's simple uh, just kind of bait your hooks and throw them out um, I did make a homemade sabiki rig I've got a video um, it's the ultimate kids fishing rod video if you want to check that out on how to make um, a sabiki rig that the hooks will actually slide up into the PVC pipe and they will not get tangled up um, you can just hook it onto a regular fishing pole. Uh, most of the time, it's a one-time use. Uh, you can you can take the sabiki rig and wrap it around like cardboard and, and keep them untangled somewhat. But uh, they're still going to get tangled up. It seems seems like. And that's what you catch on the sabiki, just letting it float in a rod holder in the waves get a uh, spade fish there and another croaker and that's a pretty big one right there